Hello everybody, Duhesa here. Oh, I just realized how different a look I have. <laughs> Anyways, hi, happy, when is today? Today is uh, Tuesday? Yeah, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. I hope everyone is doing very well. Uh, I usually don't come live at this time of the night. It's like 8.31 p.m. here. It's probably like 10 p.m. on the East Coast and uh, uh probably middle of the night somewhere uh in europe uh but i just wanted to come say first of all hello and share something with you uh the past couple of days i received um quite a few emails around this subject and so i thought i will share right and i also like experienced something similar uh i think uh it was like two three weeks ago and uh, I, you know, sometimes it feels like you experience things uh, and they, they bring a lot of, uh, lots of awakening to you. All right, so uh, the title of this uh, Facebook, Hi Kiriki, oh my God, long time no see. <laughs> the title of, it should be very late in, uh, very late or very early, very late in Greece, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so the title of this uh, Facebook Live is what to do uh when everything things everything seems to be spinning around and things seems to be going uh great more specifically uh how again like i said earlier i i got a few emails uh the past couple of days the past few days where um the beautiful ladies they were really uh going through a really really rough time and like i said i, I went through like for me it, it doesn't linger very much very long uh and i'll share why it doesn't linger very very long uh i experienced something similar like two three weeks ago and i was like oh my god the mind is something very very strange right hey terry how are you nice to see you uh the the, the mind is something very very strange so here's the thing the thing is that so many of us uh, may have experience, not even may, like if you are alive at some point of your life, right? Especially if you are a grown up, if you are, um, what do you call it? Like an adult, right? You've gone through a lot of things in your life. At some point or another, uh, we go through, we experience some sort of tragedy, or we experience some sort of uh, um tough times that actually kind of scars us uh for life sometimes right it is in there and sometimes it's running our lives uh without us knowing it consciously or unconsciously and um uh again i received that email yesterday from this beautiful lady uh and the reason why she was going through such a rough time is because she had like even when i hear her story like she's had more tragedies in her life uh than uh, most people like seriously than most people um and uh, uh a lot of the times again like so whether whether for you you know like for me i feel like i've gone through a lot of things in my life right um and some people may think, oh, hi, Shirley, how are you? Some people may think, oh, well, Dehesa, your, your, your stuff isn't that bad. Or some people may think, oh, my God, Dehesa, you went through all that, right? So depending on who we are and depending on uh, what we ourselves have been through or have experienced, uh, we, we related to things differently or we can see some things as, oh my God, I can't believe this happened. Or we can see it as, oh, it's not that bad. Right? So here's the point I'm trying to make. No matter what, no matter what we have gone through, right? Uh, I think it's not right. This is my own personal like experience and opinion about this. Uh, it's not necessarily about what we have gone through. Uh, it is really about, uh, again, in my humble opinion, it's really about us having the ability or not having the ability uh, to manage it or manage how it's impacting our, our present life. Right. Let me explain. So depending on our condition, or our mind condition or our physical condition or our emotional condition or our energetic condition. Right. If you if you even think about it for yourself, there are certain times uh, in your days or certain times in your life where like you remember these things that happened like uh, uh, like ages ago and then 
uh, you can either fall into them emotionally and uh, they are kind of like uh, literally running 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 you right emotionally you all dwelling in it like you keep repeating the same movies right and it's um it's really impacting you uh physically and impacting you emotionally or you can look at it or you can you you can have the ability to actually just remember them as a uh, or uh, something that has happened to you but is not running you but it's not running you it really really surprised me when uh, again a couple of weeks ago or three weeks ago like energetically I myself I don't know like I, maybe I, I must have been busy or stuff like that and I wasn't really attending uh, to my energy as much as uh, I usually do and what happened then what happened was i got caught like i could find myself in my mind thinking about things that happened ages ago and i was dwelling in them emotionally and i was crying about them i was like oh my god the hairstyle I get a grip so again what i was saying what i'm saying is that it is all about again like i say this all the time no matter what we are going through no matter what uh tragedies have happened in our lives uh what to do like if we feel like let's say for example you are in a space where uh, a lot of things have happened in your life and because of those things you don't trust yourself anymore you don't uh believe that things are going to happen for you or like emotionally like it gets to you to a place where like you again like you can feel things like depression or like moody or stuff like that it is so related to your physical condition please know that please like even like things like depression for example i was saying that to a client of mine the other day uh things of, of like some like many people who have um uh what do you call it like uh, issues with their lungs for example are very prone to being depressed having depression or going through all uh, those emotional things so like what i will say like if you are in a space where you're going through that now uh in your life like the very first thing the very first thing in my humble opinion in my experience right when i go through those things now right it doesn't happen quite often and i feel like the more i train the more i expand myself energetically the less these they, these days happen actually the the the, le the more i can really recenter myself very very quickly um anyway so if it's happening to do or to you or if you are experiencing it now in your life number one thing is please start with your body everything is about the energetic condition in the body and our ability to connect with ourselves with our true self energetically and it starts with the body right uh for me i do very very like energy exercises and stuff like that if you are familiar with any of my energy exercises please go for it if you are not and you want to experience them please go to thehesa.com forward slash free and uh, you can, there's a bunch of them there. Uh, but even if you don't want to try my energy exercises, even if you don't have access to them, here's what I say. Uh, when I say start with the body, it can be something as simple as just uh, going for a walk if you're not used to going, uh, if you are not used to going for a regular walk, right? Like something as simple as just walking in the neighborhood can change your energy. Something as simple as just putting on music, even when you don't feel like dancing and moving your steps and feeling your own rhythm. Something as simple as that, in my opinion, right? This is like, I really, really try as much as possible to share my own experiences with you. So let me get back to why all these things happen and why uh, the gut, right? Like in my, like the way that I have experienced it, right? It's really about energy, right? When we are depleted of energy in our gut area, it causes all sorts of issues, right? Uh, and it causes us from, uh, uh, you know, like even like takes us from not being able to manifest to, you see what I mean? It's like we are depleted of the energy that is needed to create what it is that we want to create. Right. So for me, it always, always, always now starts with the body. It always, always comes down to the body. Um, and um, yeah, that's what I wanted to share. So if you're going through anything, uh, if everything feels like 
uh, nothing is working out, right? First, start with our energetic condition, our energy body, our energy, the energy circulation, the energy accumulation inside of our body. And then from there, we can make like a choose or decide what it is that we want to create and focus on that instead, instead of really like allowing uh, either mistakes from the past or tragedies from the past uh, and so on and so forth, like keep rerunning the same stories over and over and over and over uh, in our head. Sometimes, sometimes uh, we may get caught in this cycle where we keep wanting to share our story. We keep wanting to share um, all the tragic things that have happened to us or all the bad things that may have happened uh, in our lives. It's all good if we are sharing it from a perspective of, oh, okay, it, it happened, uh, I'm over it, it doesn't have a hold on me anymore, then you're sharing just to share. But like if we are sharing it from the perspective of, uh, uh, we keep rerunning the same movie over and over and over again in our mind and emotionally it keeps running the same emotions over and over and over again in our mind in our heart or in our uh, uh, in our body then we are actually hurting ourselves and uh, funny enough what ends up happening is it's not only like really hurting our body but also uh, it is also recreating it's kind of like recreating the same patterns in our lives over and over and over again, right? Over and over and over again. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, if you feel like nothing is go nothing is going well, like you feel like you are like you spinning or you like in your mind and uh, you know you in your mind you're out of control or you feel like nothing is working and stuff like that. Number one. Start with your energetic body. Start with your energy. Change your energy first. All right? Change your energy first. Uh, then focus on what you want. Uh, then you can focus on your what you want. Then from that space, you can create powerfully. From that space, you can create more powerfully. All right. I hope that all makes sense. Uh, before I go, uh, for those of you that are considering, uh, we've talked about the... Uh, uh, awakening to spirit um, cleanse for the past week or so for the past two weeks I would say uh, at length uh, for those of you that are considering uh, joining the the, the, the cleanse uh, it starts prep, prep week starts tomorrow uh, tonight is the last day you can join uh, if you go to I don't know what the link is I'll post it somewhere here uh, for you to check it out uh, it is pretty powerful it's made a uh, such a huge impact on my life uh, again it's about cleansing uh, and it has a lot to do with uh, uh, the gut and really like upping your energy circulation and ability of energy accumulation for creation for manifestation and so on and so forth uh, in your life so that's it that's it uh, that's all I wanted to say uh, share with you tonight uh, I hope that you have a good night if uh, you are uh, if you are in the United States if you are in Europe you'll only probably see this uh, in your morning either ways uh, I hope this was helpful to you and uh, I'll talk to you soon if you have any questions about everything that I just shared today uh, on this live feel free and uh, again I'll talk to you soon bye